I'm avoiding the so so Assembly here present 
this council effect. And at this moment, without a, the an invite is home for his welcome who's on him you can only tell a blind man that there is no oil in the soup but you cannot tell him that there is no salt because he will surely observe that I'm sure that Mr. President now knows that Imo people profoundly love him just as they sincerely appreciate him in March this year, we commenced the harvest of commissioning of projects built by my administration. It is heartwarming to recall that Mr. President was the first to commission two strategic routes virtually. Today, Mr. President is here in flesh and blood to commission more and equally important roads. We give God the glory. Your Excellency, sir, we know you to be a serious-minded leader who does not suffer irrelevances or frivolities. When we requested you to graciously come to Imo State to commission some strategic projects, we mean just that. These projects are not just strategic, socially, but economically too. When I assumed office as governor of Imo State last year, I undertook the limited funding of the means of our people. I found out to my horror that the infrastructure base of the state had totally collapsed. Almost all the road network was broken. Where the state capital was worse hit. Flood had sacked several parts of the city. While in some areas, property owners had surrendered their property to flood, especially within the Tiger and Wawaha Road axis where the base of the current balloon-driven tunnel is located. Mr. President, the state of Naze in Hiagwa naked the Link Road was pathetic, to say the least. The road was taken over by gullies, not potholes. It was nightmarish to the road users. And this is a strategic road that leads to the two federal institutions of high learning in Imo State, namely the Federal University of Technology in Hiagwa and the Federal Polytechnic Nekede. The lives of students and staff of these institutions, as well as residents, were endangered because the poor state of the road turned it into a heaven for armed robbers. I recall vividly that on the day I flagged off the, cons the construction of this road, a woman broke down in tears of joy because the residents had lost all hopes of seeing the road reconstructed after over 15 years of abandonment. Overwhelmed, she cried out and told me that if it is the only road that my government will build, in the entire administration, that the God whom she worships will still bless me. The feeling was same for all those who use the road. To the glory of God, Your Excellency has just commissioned the first phase of this all important road. The second phase, which will be commissioned before the end of this year, will link the road to the obvious end at the Portacot Expressway. But I'm glad to report to Mr. President that it is not and will not be the only road my administration has done. We've done 46 solid roads, including the Mohammed Buhari Avenue, which houses the Federal Secretary. We are still doing more because we believe that with the right infrastructure, 
our economic development will be hastened and life will be much better for our people. That's exactly what informed our decision to permanently solve the perennial flooding of the capital city of Wari. The balloon driven tunnel at the base of the Tiger Road, which we have just commissioned today, was built to check the flooding in the area and recover property swallowed by flood in the last 20 years. The tunnel is 2.45 kilometers in length, 1.8 meters in diameter, and between 0.9 and 11.5 meters in depth, with 94 manholes. It is taking flood water from the Tiger, Chukuma Wonha Street, Iheshuwa, Aladimma Relief Market Roads, and part of Trans Ebu to Otamere River. We are planning another one from Akwakuma, Ebada, to Abanikoku axis of the city. The flood from this second tunnel shall be discharged at Mori River. When this second phase is completed, in the next couple of months, we are confident that the world will be totally flood free. Tarigo, Tarigo, President Tarigo, 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 President Tarigo. Mr. President, as we are checking flooding, we are also making the movement of people and goods easier in Oweri. Hence the construction of the Ebenda Bypass Road, which takes traffic away from the traffic city. Those who are moving from Onicha to Olu and the other axis of the state and vice versa have no need to enter over a capital city with this bypass. That is also what the Shukumawanha Road is doing for those coming from Omaha and heading to Mbitolu and the Kedru axis of the state. Just as we are making motorists happy, we also reckon that the seat of government requires an urgent first lift. Your Excellency, sir, it will interest you to know that the Executive Council Chamber of Imo State Government, which we met, is outdated, outmodeled, Rikety chamber built over 40 years ago, devoid of modern communication facilities and gadgets for ease of executive policy formulations and decisions. I'm delighted to inform you, Your Excellency, sir, that we have put that solid history behind us by constructing an ultra modern executive council chambers of world class standards. That is one of the projects Your Excellency will commission shortly. I wish to use this, your visit, Your Excellency, to publicly express the heartfelt gratitude of the government of Imo State and the people of Imo State to you for the swift manner you brought to the politically contrived the security breaches in the state to an end. I have also personally commended all your commanders who carried out your order in containing the situation. We have also reached out to the families of security personnel who lost their lives in the line of duty. Equally, we have reached out to the families of innocent citizens who were caught at the crossfire. Mr. President, our commitment to the peace and unity of Nigeria is irrevocable. Through our inclusive government, we have accommodated every Nigerian, every Nigerian resident in Imo State. Some have been appointed directly into my cabinet. Others are making inputs into governance, either directly or indirectly. Our aim is to build a mini Nigeria in Imo State where everyone will have sense of not only belonging, but unfettered accommodation. That although this is a government brought about by APC, our great party, 
It is probably a government of all in Imo state and all residents in Imo state. Whether you are a citizen or not a citizen, we remain sincere in our endeavors to satisfy the yearnings of our people within available resources. We thank Mr. President for granting us listening ears of our mirror challenges. Mr. President, we shall never be tired of knocking at your door, sir. I am personally overwhelmed by your esteemed presence. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of the government and people of Imo State for believing in Imo State and her leadership. We want to thank you, Mr. President, and we say thank you, thank you, and welcome, Mr. President. I accepted this invitation to come to see what the governor wanted me to see. And I have seen enough that justifies his integrity in making sure that he is working very hard to make sure that you get the structure necessary for you to build the oven. I'm very impressed with what he has done because I have gone through the same problem at the center to make sure that infrastructure is what will enable the people to mind their own businesses. If there are no roads, if there are no security, what can people do? Absolutely nothing. I am very pleased that uh, by some fabulous coincidence, my idea and that of your governor coincided. I am very pleased with what I have seen. And uh, I assure you that uh, as a center, I will try to encourage Imo State within the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I thank you very much for being lucky to have the break in the weather for us to go around and see what the governor has done for the state. I thank you very much. And God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Action President, we must shake for your time, we don't go your price. Thank <laughs> you. 
Давай ты.